It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly. And take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together. Like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it! Hop over the rope! Phew! That was tiring! What a great day! And now it's time to go home! But, uh-oh! That's an awful lot of mess they've left behind! Buster doesn't want to clean up, but look! Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them. This is almost like a game. Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster is collapsing the goal. Nice work. Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done. That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no! It's fallen over and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right. They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone. <laughs> Vegetables of many colors, yum, yum, yum. Buster wants to grow them. Oh, what fun! First, you need the soil, then the sun, lots of lovely rain. Wait, soon they'll come. Yum, yum, yum. Vegetables of many colors, yum, yum, yum. Diggly's helping Buster to plant some seeds come from the packet one by one. They'll grow in the vegetables big and strong. Yum, yum, yum. Many colors will be 
Um, Buster's little seeds will need some sun. Monty, will you help? And when you're done, will you fetch the rain? Cause seeds need some. Yum, yum, yum. Vegetables of many colors. Yum, yum, yum. Buster wants to grow them. Oh, what fun. First you need the soil, then the sun. Lots of lovely rain. Wait, soon they'll come. Many colors, yum, 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 Buster, you have grown them. Oh, what fun. First you have the soil, then the sun, lots of lovely rain. And up they've come. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board! What a good idea! The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday. What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows. Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set. That's very thoughtful, Buster. Ah. <laughs> 
It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. Buster and Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh, look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! Oh, no! Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves. They've ruined their sand castle. Buster is very sad. But Ash has got a plan to save it. Buster is too upset to help. Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. Wow, that's a huge ice cream. Whoa, steady! Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too, but he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream, so he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it. Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream. Yum, yum, delicious. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. What's wrong with Buster? Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur. <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. <sighs> All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be interesting enough. 
But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. <laughs> Yar, my hearty. <laughs> hmm. Okay, ah. the pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth out with a little help from a friendly little bee. <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination. <laughs> Especially with friends. Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow, the sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah, it's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops, watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. Hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah, it's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again. Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and mommy bus to the rescue. Splat! Yum, yum. Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Yay! Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. What was that? Bandit has some marshmallows. Yummy! Oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! Uh oh, it's blowing away. Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! Phew, he's okay! Time to finally put the tent up! Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster! Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. 
Wow! <laughs> They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> what a brilliant day. Arthur is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants. But Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster is heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. <laughs> Bye, Mommy Bus. Look! Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? 
the teacher is handing Buster a mirror. <gasps> Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth. Oh, no. And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos. But Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah! Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus, just like Buster. <laughs> and his tooth has fallen out. But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. <laughs> Gather in, Buster. Yeah. Say cheese. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. <laughs> It's going to be great! But first, they need to get ready! Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack? Check. Lunchbox? Check. Everything else? Check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday, for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. What does Buster need? Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Pencil case and school book, check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha, there it is. It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. Quick Buster, quick. Shark tooth? Check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school and he's going to be late. Oh no! Hmm. 
<laughs> Phew! He did it! Just in time! Yeah. <laughs> what a crazy morning! <laughs> Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa! That monster is super scary! Phew! Don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look, it's Grandpa Bus. Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny. That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster. The bubbles are overflowing. Oh dear, what a soapy mess. Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day. <laughs> <laughs>